this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, July 13th, 2020. The tarot card for today is the Five of Wands from the Divine Diversity Tarot by artist Joe Phillips. You know, when I look at this card itself, it almost looks like competitive sports, something that hasn't been around in a while. I don't think there's anything starting up, at least here in the U.S., for another good 10 days. I think baseball will be starting, but we might hear news of, you know, some other, maybe people going to begin to practice or whatever, or, or some talk of that, because, you know, it's definitely something that people have been missing. But there's way more to this right at the moment. It reminds me more of the current state of the internet, as this is a card of conflict and disagreement of people not being able to get along, all right? And this has become a very sad state of affairs, I know. Uh, we have basically what is morally right and what is totally immoral, okay? And it, it, this is like you have these conflicts constantly on a daily basis. Now, whether this is very in your face today, whether you are engaged in it, perhaps you just say to yourself, I have had enough of it, you know? I'm logging off and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Anything is possible here. You know, this is also a card of struggles and with Mercury now, direct. You might begin to feel those struggles ease up a little bit day by day, but there's still some things that need handling. And there's probably many things that you put off because of Mercury retrograde. So avoiding all the drama and focusing on what you need in your life may very well be a good choice. You know, I don't see the possibility here for uh, agreement. There, there just seems to be constantly new things that are thrown out there which cause divisiveness and it feels very prominent at this time okay i don't know what's bringing it up i mean we're still in eclipse season you know that mercury retrograde is still fresh even if it's over and you have let me see pluto saturn chiron jupiter of course venus is in shadow and neptune and a great deal of the energy that's around you right now that, you know, is focusing on matters in your life still has to do with Cancer and Capricorn. Even though we've seen the nodes change to Gemini and Sagittarius, all right, that new path will be coming up pretty soon, all right? There's a lot that's about to happen. And I, I really think that whatever is coming next, it is in your best interest to be able to, you know, just focus on what you need to do. I'm looking at, you know, the cards that we have here. Yeah, as I'm saying it, <laughs> and I'm looking at what's coming up over the next few days. It isn't worth it. There is the need here for, you know, release. We've seen, you know, various cards that have been indicating that, and it's coming. It is coming. It's like, there's a big hallelujah here by like the 16th, and we'll be talking about it. I think it's a suitable time for many reasons. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow, and as always, have a great day.